Good morning, I'm Raul Gabriel from uh, Cambridge Coding Academy and I'm going to show you how to get set up for the Build a Web App in a Day workshop. So these instructions are for Mac OS X. So if you have Windows on your computer, please check out our other video. So let's get started. It's only going to take a couple of minutes. So the first thing you need to do is to install a software called Node.js and that's going to be used to kind of process booking orders uh, during the workshop and you, you'll find out very soon how that works. So please go on this website, node.js.org. I have it loaded up here and what you need to do is to click on install and you'll get set up. That's it. The second step is to install git. So we're going to use this to download uh, a bunch of files that are needed for, for the workshop and we'll also let you push your project to the internet. So you need to go to this URL I have it loaded up here and install it. Feel free to, to, to read some, uh, some stuff about it. So to download it on the Mac, you just need to click download for Mac and you have sorted. Step three is to install a software called WebStorm. So we're gonna use that to actually do the coding. So we call this a development environment and you'll get to use it during the workshop and get familiar with it. But in the meantime, please go to this URL and it's here and download WebStorm version 9 and you see that already it looks quite interesting so it's a way to, to write code for software engineers. The next step is to register an account on github.com so github.com is a website where you'll be able to download uh, the files from and also have your project available for the wider public. So you need to register an account so go to this URL here and you can register. The next step is to log in on github.com and to go to this URL. So I'm gonna log in uh, myself using my own account. Obviously you want to use yours here. There we go. And I'm now logged in. So we go to the URL that was provided. There we go. So these are all the files that needs to be loaded up um, for the workshop. So the first step that you need to do is to fork the project. And to fork the project, you need to click on this button. What fork does is basically to copy the files in your own account. So very simple. So we're just going to click fork as a real doc. There we go. That's done. So you can see now that we are under my own account and I've got all the files ready to go. Great. So what's next? So we don't have fork in project. Now we need to load up the project into WebStorm. So let's see how to do that. So by now you should have WebStorm installed in your computer. So I'm gonna start off the application. WebStorm, here we go. It's loading up. Right, so the next step is to say, we want to check out from version control. And then you want to select GitHub. So at this stage, it should uh, ask you for your login and password details for GitHub. But because I've entered this already, it's only asking for my master password. So that's done. I was trying to access GitHub. Great. So here I've got a, a list of projects that I already own. But you should be saying da -da -da -da, this one. So here you can see it says github.com slash RaulDoc, which is my own username, but you want to be sure that this is your own username there, and then webapp.get. So let's select this parent directory, make sure to, to save the project into a directory that you will remember, and the directory name here in this, in this case by default is webapp. So let's test if that's working. Yes, so WebStorm is able to connect to the repository on github.com, that's great. So we're going to clone. Clone basically means to download all the files from the internet on your own computer. So let's do that. Done. So check out from version control. Would you like to open the directory? Yes. Let's open it. And that's great. So we now have all the files that were on github.com into a local directory. And you can see this is the directory that I selected for this project. And the final step to get set up for the workshop is to click on package.json 
you want to right click on this and find run npm install. What that's going to do is behind the scene download a bunch of uh, software and packages that are needed uh, to build a web app. So let's just go ahead and do that. And everything is done. And to be sure that it's working, you should have this new directory that was created with a bunch of things inside, but let's not worry about this. So if you got this far, you set up and we look forward to see you at our workshops. Bye for now.